Let's make a southwest style sun sculpture. I'm going to put this on the top view to make it easier to sketch on. Cruise a circle into the work plane. Change its radius by typing. Now click on spline, click on the circle. That puts the spline on the same work plane as the circle. And then draw. It will make curves in between the points. And click the green check mark to exit. See these circles? Mouse over them and when they highlight you can adjust the shape of the spline. Now let's array this around the circle. Select it, click on circular pattern. For sketch entities, click the spline. For center point, click that, note it highlights. And drag these buttons to make copies. Alternatively, you could type how many copies you want there. Now click on Extrude, select the sketch, and then drag it up. Then hide the sketches. To make this more interesting, Let's loft it with another sketch. Cruise in a primitive circle and use the primitive circle because it will snap to the center. Let's make it a bit bigger and click. And move up. Now select the sun. Hold the shift key down, select the sketch, click loft. Looks like I'll need to select that again. And it lofted. As a final touch, I'll cruise a sphere onto it and I'll snap it to the center, increase the radius. Let me hide the sketches because they obscure things. And then I'll move this down. Now let's combine the sphere and the sun. Click Combine Merge. Target is the sun. Source is the sphere. Click off it. And now this is welded together as one piece. As you see I can move it together and it's 3D printable this way. Now what would be fun is if I were to send this to Mesh Mixer and then apply a stencil of a face on that sphere. So I'm going to highlight it and click Send to Mesh Mixer. And here it is. I'm going to press the T key down to bring up the Transform tool and straighten this out a bit. Maybe move it down so I can see where the grid is. Now I'll go to Sculpt, Surface, Stencils, and these bottom pictures are stencils that I imported into Mesh Mixer. Let's see how this one looks. It helps if you make 
the stencil size at least the size of the sphere or bigger for it to show up. Now I'll click and there you have it. I can export this as an STL for 3D printing also.